Hey, it's been a little while. I haven't really made a video in a long time, but this video was not the kind of video I wanted to make, but I felt like I needed to get this out. Today's episode on Talk with Texan, an unscripted moment, is a video talking about Brian Jackson II, or BJ. And in case if you don't know Brian Jackson II, I'll give you a little history on him. BJ, as he's known in the Gmodding community in Splatoon, is a Gmodder slash animator, if you can even call him that, and a little bit ahead of a... maybe even attention seeker, but we'll get into that later. But this video is like talking about the whole thing concerning Brian Jackson and all the evidence that I'm going to try to show concerning the whole thing. So, here we go. It's kind of been a long while, and it has started for pretty much a long time. Why has this been happening a long time? Well, I think the biggest, I think the best answer I can give you is the fact that BJ just seems to not take criticism very lightly. I guess that you could say it all started in the first video that LolTac did on BJ. I can't remember the full-on situation of what happened, but all I can remember is the fact that BJ did not take the criticism too lightly. In fact, he hated it. Later on down the line, there's just been like little things that had happened, and BJ had kind of fallen apart. This is probably where the whole thing with him started to fall apart. When a friend of his, or former friend of his, actually, had blocked him. Because, like, the whole thing that he has been hearing. A friend of his by the name of Venom Knight. And he obviously did not take it lightly. Hell, he's even tried to get people to try to get Venom to re-friend him. Obviously, it didn't work because Venom had made his decision. It was his decision, so I don't think he really needed to worry about it. I mean, it's not like they really talk to each other that much anyway. BG and Venom don't really speak to each other during that or during their time when they were friends that much. But the first time they were friends, and this is kind of off topic here, BG pretty much like made a little picture from his, with his help with a lot of girls just like hugging and kissing him or something like that, and he just claimed that. Venom was like his new best friend when they had just met that day. I mean, I think I might have done that before in my time, but... Wow. That day? That specific day? I don't think I've ever done that before. They never met until that day, and you claimed that he's your new best friend. Why? And later on down the line, the whole thing with BJ just like not taking criticism too lightly just kind of little, just kind of went off topic for a little while, I guess. I can't remember the full story, sorry. But a whole thing like kind of fell apart for BJ when his friends, Ghost of Time 1 and Lizzie the Radical 15, fuck, had unfriended him. Because of, I guess, creative differences and not taking criticism too lightly. Just like, BJ's ideas have just not been the best of all ideas. Then, of course, after a long while of arguing with each other, Ghost and Claude's had just felt like, you know what, I think it's probably the best idea if we just unfriended him because he is not doing, he is not learning, he is not taking our advice, he's not listening. And BJ obviously had a meltdown about the whole thing because, oh, they were his idols or anything, like, something like that, I don't know. And things have just been weary. And of course, he tries to say that he's trying to take criticism, but from what I've seen, sure he has. He hasn't even taken any criticism whatsoever. And you can pretty much tell because anger issue because of these anger issues, and pretty much uh, like like this even continued this still continued, and this pretty much continued until now I guess I don't know, but 
there was just a lot of things that has just been going on with BJ. Like, everything that's going on from, like, flirting with a girl, someone that's really younger. In fact, BJ is just, like, he has, has a thing for just being very, very kind to girls like that. It's just, like, it's very weird. The fact that he's just, like, it's just trying, they're trying to make, they're trying to be gentle with them. Hell, he's even tried to self-ship self -ship himself with Claude's one time. At least that's what everybody's been saying. But things have just been pretty much, much gone downhill. And BJ's reputation has just not been the best of all things. Hell, even his, his some, a lot of his friends have decided to let, leave him. And even though they unfriended him, BJ is trying to like, get friends to befriend him. Like, guys like Sky, people like Skyler, who has been stressed the F out because of BJ doing the whole thing like that. Hell, oh, she's been dealing with a whole lot of stuff uh, for, uh, with anything close to BJ's friends. And because of that, she's had to unfriend them. And that's pretty much, like, going over overboard with that. Hell, the only re reason, like, like Skyler unfriended BJ and his crew was because Sky because BJ... Just like made it, and it just pretty much like harass, has harassed Rudy, Rudy the Octoling, or something along those lines. She, he pretty much like harassed Rudy to the point where she felt like she wanted to kill herself, commit suicide, and that's pretty, and that's pretty much bullshit because that you don't do something like that to somebody like Rudy, and this pretty much has gone long enough, and. After just like several, after like months of frustration, it just came to the point where R Skyler just had to unfriend BJ and his friends because like they were just pushing it. They were just pushing her past her limits. And I can understand like you, I would do the same thing. Hell, I even did it myself twice. Now, remember when I said he has, like, severe anger issues? Well, I think that kind of puts it lightly when it comes to BJ, because, like, if you want anger issues, I guess you could take a look at his little imposter problem, because somebody decided, oh, I'm going to be an impersonator as BJ, and he obviously went ballistic about all of this. It was just like, report this guy, report this guy, report this guy, report this guy, to everybody that he knew. Obviously, this is not what you want to do when you're dealing with imposters. Because you obviously are going to make the th situation worse, and you're going to give the imposter what he wanted. You want to give him a reaction. And if the imposter is watching this video, I do apologize for how BJ has treated you for calling you a piece of shit. But... Don't impersonate other people as a joke or something like that, because that is not, that is not, that is not right. That is just not right. I have no idea why you decided to impersonate BJ in the first place, but try not to do that again, please. Now, we go on to the little topic about pedophilia. Again, first we did it with Dark, and now we're going to do it with BJ. Science of pedophilia. Flirting with a 13-year-old girl, somebody that I used to be friends with, but due to her severe anger issues, I obviously blocked her. But this happened a long time ago, because BJ thought it'd be the best idea to flirt with Lori. And she's 13, BJ's 26. Do not tell me that does not sound messed up. And this happened a long time ago, like, this happened, like, before Lori just started hating a lot of people and pretty much almost everybody here. And it's obvious that th things just wasn't right for her. Another sign of pedophilia was with cute Yoshi lover, or Emily as she's known. You know BJ and Emily, like, had, had a pretty much a good re relationship with each other. But... Signs of pedophilia with Emily kind of goes on to say, like, BJ calling Emily Sweetie Pie. I 
if you can even count that as a pedophilia, I'm not sure. I apologize if, if it isn't. But obviously this creeped her out. I asked her about it, and yes, it does creep her out. And obviously she's just not... She's not, not, not really, like, wanted to deal with BJ's bull. You, we all know it. Alright. Now we made it to the part where it kind of made me feel like that I needed to make this semi-rant video. What led me into making this video was something that had happened after me, Rudy, and Skylar unfriended BJ and blocked him. Obviously, BJ did not take too kindly, and he decided to retire. Again. All because we blocked him. What led that as well was the fact that he also posted something that kind of tipped me and a few others over the edge. And this was probably the final point in the coffin where I felt like I needed to make this. Because I'm not sure anybody else was going to do it. But apparently there was a post on his YouTube community thing saying that BJ committed suicide. And I honestly don't know whether to believe that or not, because the way that it's typed made it look like it was typed by BJ himself. Yes, I know that the first few sentences are different than, than what he normally, than how he normally types, but the way that it's written with all the yelling and stuff and the face emojis, that made it seem like that it was written by him. I don't think BJ has committed suicide. I think he's using this to get attention. And if that's the case, then he's messed up. Like, seriously, BJ, all around the world, there are people that are actually wanting to commit suicide, and there's people that actually have. And you use that to get attention? Like, what the hell, man? Not cool. Not cool at all. It's like, there's just something wrong with him. I don't know if he's gotten, and if he used that as attention, or if he actually committed suicide. But I guess we're gonna have to wait to figure it out, because I'm just a little skeptical on this. I want to thank you all for watching. Like the Dark Pure Brian video, there's more evidence on what BJ has done than there actually is on this video, so this was actually just a sample of what BJ has done. There's a lot more evidence, but I doubt now that I can share all of them because I just wanted to get my thoughts on all of this and what has happened. But thank you for watching. Be sure to spread this video out. But either way, thank you all for watching. Until next time, see ya.